Hi, my name's Leona from Supraconscious Soul and this is your Divine Feminine reading for the end of September. So, we come into the reading with the Rumi card number three, the Dissolving Light. Now, what this is saying is that we're coming out of this place of darkness. As you can see here, the light is radiating out and it's slowly filling up this space of darkness. It's slowly dissolving where we've come from where we've been and in some sense it's we're becoming reborn again within this we're being reborn as in taking hold of our power taking hold of the positive power not allowing ourselves to be kind of drained or taken in by this energy around us here because we also got from the wisdom of the oracle we got thought and we got celebration. So what these are asking now is, in thought here, we have these two pillars. We're worried about a uniting of opposites here. Now what this is saying is to keep our thoughts positive, to keep our thoughts as clear as possible, to try and find clarity within our thoughts and to keep them in a positive sense, so not to dwell on the um, on the future, not to worry about what's coming in the future, just focus on the thoughts of this moment because these thoughts are what are creating our future. Now, what it's also saying is celebration. So it is saying that there is going to be something to celebrate. There is going to be joy within this. It's saying that, look, this light is now starting to grow. And as it grows, we're going to find we're going to find that celebration, going to find that joy within. Now, if you're feeling like you you are having problems with your thoughts or thought patterns, um, possibly thought patterns that are affecting the relationship um, now. So it's, it's past thought patterns. Just become aware of if you're holding on to any past thought patterns or are you, or are you allowing the thoughts to come in this moment for what it is? Are you working on the thoughts for what they are in this moment because we have to worry about what we're creating in the future. Now, we also have, <coughs> excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles. Now, he is also somebody who is loyal, steadfast, dedicated, but it's talking about focusing, on, he's focusing on this one pentacle that he's creating now. He is, he's, he's looking at it and he's focusing just on that moment. Although he has got goals, he is moving towards his future. But the focus is literally on this pentacle that he's creating now. This seed that he's growing. How can he, how can he grow this seed? So it's about taking the mind and not allowing it to be so scattered because we do have five of swords underneath that and also the two of swords underneath that. Now, what spirit, God, source is saying that if we can kind of bring our mind back to the now, back to the present moment and focus on what we're creating in that present moment, focus on the details of it, focus on... Um, the vision, focus on putting the perfection into that, yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles. Focus on stability and growth. Just focus on this moment as to, opposed to what's been, what's coming, because we do have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is Saturn in Taurus, and it's telling us that we're kind of at a point where we've got past that Six of Pentacles with the high energy and the and the reciprocal energy. Now we may be feeling as if we're putting a lot of energy into something and possibly not getting energy, any anything back, perhaps. We may feel like we're having to rest. We may also feel, for some of us, that we're needing to listen to spirit a little bit more because spirit's trying to get our attention here, but we're focused on this. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is very much about patience, yeah? It's very much about, there could be delays, there could be obstacles to this relationship, but it can also talk about needing to clear out um, 
what's not working, purging what's not working to allow better growth or to allow it, the soil to be nurtured in a better way. So taking anything out like the weeds, things that are not working, pull them away. And then it, the, the obstacles will slowly be released. But it is talking about patience. And the Seven of Pentacles is a card of slow progress. Now, we also got the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So we're being asked to let go of control in some sense. Maybe we're trying to change something that is an established order. Maybe we're trying to change something that already has a set system. Now, now, we're also being asked to find um, stability within the mind, to find clarity within the mind. Now, with these issues, we may have to let something go. And in letting something go, that may bring up fears of abandonment, right? It may fit, we may have to in some sense here, because we have somebody trying to hold on to something that is not theirs some trying to hold on to something too tightly and how energy works in terms of the masculine and feminine the tighter we hold on to that the more we're needing to kind of let go mentally because we're realizing we can't hold on to it now it may be for some of you that you're connecting on a astral or a dream time level with the four of swords as well it could be that you're connecting at night time and there's a need to kind of release this connection now as we release often from the divine masculine the divine masculine will reattach yeah it's like we're trying to force something that is not meant to be now for our um issue we have the five of cups now this talks about feeling like we're on an emotional roller coaster we're feeling like we're going through this ebb and flow of emotion yeah it could be that at one point we're feeling all right and then the next minute it's like the tears are flowing we're feeling like we're locked in um self-pity now with the five of cups it's about focusing on the two cups that are left it may mean releasing something it may mean letting something go letting water go under the bridge in order to focus on the future in order to focus on what is happening right now there's a need to kind of let go of the past with the five of cups there's a need to allow things to just progress on its own to allow that water to kind of run away in some sense so we also have distracting us is the ten of wands now this means we're feeling as though we have a lot of responsibility we're feeling like we're we're the ones living up to the duty we're feeling like we have to yet again we're needing to release something energetically we may feel as if somebody's not doing they're not doing what um is expected but it also talks about um you may have to keep going and you may feel like it's hard to keep going yeah you may feel like that in some senses with all of this responsibility it's kind of took away the enthusiasm from another part of your life now these cards are saying to allow something to let go, yeah, but not but focus um, on the good because what is helping you is the five of pentacles. Now, you may feel like you're in a situation where you've been kind of left to it. You've been left to do everything yourself because we have someone left out in the cold or possibly you, there's a need to kind of you may be trying to show the divine masculine that you've been left out in the cold, but maybe there's a need for detachment. Maybe there's a need for... Um, because the five is also talking about obstacles when it comes to love. There is obstacles. Somebody not asking for what they want. Sometimes it's about need kind of pushing us forward. There's this need kind of pushing us forward. Or this need is kind of pushing shaping our destiny in some way yeah 
And it's like the more you try and hold on to something, the more elusive it's going to become, the cards are saying. We also have the Sun card. Now, the Sun card talks about illumination, growth and God energy. It talks about new beginnings. But what it talks about mainly is that the Divine Feminine may need to take this masculine stance. Yeah, they, the Divine Feminine may need to not keep allowing themselves to focus on this emotional, with the, these fives, we have these two fives, the five of cup, the five of um, pentacles, but we're being asked to kind of push on towards our success, let go of what is not necessary. Now, the sun card is a masculine energy card, so we're needing to take hold of this masculine energy, logic, um, determination, we're needing to be the masculine energy in some sense to complete this last phase. Now, we also got with that dandelion. Now, this is vitality, empowerment, and most of all, perseverance, yeah? So we're being called to persevere towards our goals, to persevere towards our um, success, our own success, but in a very masculine way, because we also got yin and yang, 22 in reverse, and this is saying that it's a yang energy, and there's a need to push forward, yeah, there's a need for us to use the mas ma um, masculine energy, logic of determination, force, where this is a time to move forward towards our own goals. Now, we also have the high priest or high priestess. Now, this is saying, I feel in some sense that as we push towards our more masculine energy, it will cause the divine masculine to then become more receptive. One, because they'll be wondering where we've gone, where that attachment's gone. They kind of expect that attachment to be there in some senses. And two, we'll be more focused on what we're doing and they will feel that lapse in energy, which will become, make them become more like the high priest or priestess. We also have the high priestess moving forward as well. So we have two masculine cards and two feminine cards. So I feel like we're being forced to flip the energies right now. So... Moving forwards, we have the Six of Wands, yeah? Now, this is us stepping into the limelight. This is us putting ourselves on a pedestal. This is us being role models. This is us then... Our efforts, yeah? This is the Six of Wands, so it's the height of our energy. We're putting our energy into something, and we're creating, bringing about a success, yeah? We're bringing about progress, yeah? But it's something to do with um our inspirations it's something to do with our spiritual life as well but the king of wands is somebody who puts all of their energy into their passions yeah and in doing so he inspires others to do the same he inspires others to follow but it's not about strong arming somebody with the with the king of wands the king of wands only strong arms people when he's still finding his energy the Divine Feminine is being asked to put her energy into her passions, yeah? And that will, in turn, bring about this good relationship or this good ma marriage. Because we see that on the back of the card here. Now, we also have with that the page of um, pentacles. Now, he is somebody who focuses on the touch, taste, feel things. This is somebody who's focusing on their health. This is somebody who's focusing on their um, wealth. Um, this is somebody who's investing in themselves in terms of education, hobbies, interests. This is somebody who's starting to buy a home. They're concentrating on what they need to do. Now, this card as well also talks about bad company leading us to gamble or taking us away from our path. So we're being asked to invest in ourselves at the moment. Yeah, we also have with that the um, high priestess. Now, the high priestess is about hidden knowledge, but it's about unifying two opposites here. And I feel as we disconnect from the masculines and focus on ourselves, they are then going to find this psychic link and reconnect back with us. We also, for the final cards, we have healing family issues 
and religious factors. So it says, as your love life benefits, as you forgive your parents. So there's a lot of healing going on here. And it says your love life is influenced by your religious and spiritual path. So take care. Stay blessed. I really do hope this has helped. Bye-bye.